the concept of evolution culminates with the emergence of the entity in the core which is known as the evolved packet core so we know that the core network in classical gsm network actually meant uh, the base station controller the msc hlr vlr oss etc but uh, in today's networks lte ltea we don't see many of those terminologies because now we have the evolved packet core that contains multiple gateways which are sharing the functionality for the user as well as for the signaling planes so we'll see how this evolved into epc we'll look at the context of it and then we are going to look at the most important uh, gateway nodes and the controlling nodes so basically evolved packet core is the main part of the overall evolution which took place if you remember we talked about having higher bit rates better modulation techniques etc uh, on the air interface side that is the uh, radio uh, network control part uh, and the um, radio link control part but here we are talking about the core side uh, which forms the um, essence of uh, the overall connectivity for the data networks today so the word evolution is not by fun or it is not by accident there is a history to it and it says that whatever network elements we saw starting from the sgsn and ggsn to the other advanced functionality we see that uh, essentially gprs was the first step in providing data connectivity so the evolution started from there so that is why even in today's evolved packet core architecture we would see these network elements to be there uh, some as they are and others probably renamed so the components starting from the uh, uh, gateway elements are the uh, mobility management entity that takes care of the handovers um, the gateways which provide the bearer paths starting from the serving gateway to the packet gateway that provides connectivity connectivity to the extraneous networks that is the ip network or the internet uh, per se and then we have certain controlling nodes which perform the functionality of somewhat the um, service stratum which uh, is working together with the um, transport stratum so we have the home subscriber server um, which is akin to the home location register and we have the uh, policy and charging uh, rules uh, function uh, pcrf which is similar to what we had the uh, aaa services in classical networks if we look at the evolved packet core uh, we can say that uh, starting from the lower side of this diagram uh, we see we have the user equipment then we have the radio connectivity that is the uh, terrestrial radio connectivity here we have the starting from the classical ge ran that is gsm edge radio access network once we had the data connectivity from uh, the old days we have the entities like the base station and the base station controller in uh, UMTS universal mobile telecommunication standard based radio access network we have the node b and the radio network controller which only persisted up till release 7 then we have the evolved utran that includes now e node b and radio network controller is obviated now this e node b is now connected to the evolved packet core the block or the super functional module that you see right above it here we have some functionalities that we have just seen the names of including the packet gateway the serving gateway mobility management entity the charging and rule function policy and charging rule functions home subscribers server sgsn we don't see ggsn here 
but in one way or the other the serving gateway and the the packet gateway are now serving as the ggsn which is the gateway gprs support node we also have the evolved packet data gateway which has a bearer path with the packet gateway so wherever you see this dotted line that actually means it is for control signaling and wherever you see this continuous line that means it's the user connectivity so we also see the aaa server for non 3gpp technologies the earliest telecom architectures so this is a fairly complicated diagram that includes holistic view in fact a comprehensive view of how the data networks have evolved and how the evolved packet core addresses contemporary technology integration and backward technology integration as well